Hello class, this is lesson four. Mrs. Zappia, identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships and tables. Our essential question is, how does knowing two quantities are proportional help answer question about quantities? We are going to skip example one. Please turn to the next page. In exercise one, Bella types at a constant rate of 42 words per minute. Is the number of words she can type proportional to the number of minutes she types? Create a table to determine the relationship. So we're wanting to know if she types at the same rate. Does she get faster? Does she get slower? Or does she type at a constant rate? We know that she types 42 words in one minute. In two minutes, she would type twice as many words. So two times 42. And in two minutes, she types 84 minutes. Pause the video and find out how many words she types in three minutes, six minutes, and 60 minutes. So in three minutes, she types three times 42, which is 126 minutes, 252 minutes, and 60 times 42 is 2,520 minutes. And again, you are multiplying by the constant rate of 42 words per minute. Then it says, is the number she can type proportional? Well, since the multiplier is 42 words for each minute, she doesn't get faster, she doesn't get slower. The answer is yes. It is a proportional relationship between words and minutes. In our next example, Mark recently moved to a new state. During the first month, he visited five state parks. So in the first month, he visited five state parks. Each month after, he visited two more parks. Complete the table below and use the results to determine if the number of parks visited is proportional to the number of months. In other words, did he visit the same amount of state parks per month? So at the end of one month, he has visited five state parks. The next month, he visited two state parks. So adding five plus two state parks means at the end of the second month, he has visited seven parks. The next month, he visited two more parks. So now he had visited seven, he visited two more, and now he has totaled nine state parks. Pause the video and create a table on the side of the paper of a pattern to find out how many months it took him to visit 23 parks. So I have created a table on the side of the page. One month is five parks, two months is seven, three months is nine. And notice that the pattern, it keeps increasing by two. So I'm just going to keep continuing the pattern until I get to 23 parks. So 23 parks, it would take Mark 10 months to visit. And so the answer is 10. So we completed the table. Now use the results to determine if the number of parks visited is proportional to the number of months. So we know it's proportional if there is a multiplier that is going to be the same for all of these numbers. So the multiplier for the first pair, one times five equals five, two times three and a half equals seven, three times three equals nine. Now, I don't need to go any farther because I can already see that the multiplier is not the same. 
And since the multiplier is different, the answer is no, this is not a proportional relationship. Keep in mind, a pattern in the numbers does not necessarily mean that it is a proportional relationship. 579 is a nice pattern, but it, without the same multiplier, that is not a proportional relationship. Okay, this is an important concept right there. Next, the table below shows the relationship between the side lengths of a square and the area. Complete the table, then determine if the length of the sides is proportional to the area. In our first problem, we have the side length is 1. So here is a square with a side length of 1. And the area of that square is 1 square unit. If the side length is 2, so here is the side length of the square being 2. And the area of this square is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 square units. Then we have a side length of 3. So this is a square with a side length of 3. 1, 2, 3. And the area of this square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Complete the chart and then determine if the length of the sides is proportional to the area. Pause the video while you figure this out. So your chart filled in. We notice now that the multiplier here is 1, the multiplier here is 2, the multiplier is 3, the multiplier is 4. Because there is a different multiplier for each pair, this is not proportional. This is a nice pattern of 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, etc. But remember that a pattern in the numbers does not make it proportional. The side length and the area are not proportional because the multiplier is different. In summary, one quantity is proportional to a second if a constant number exists such that each measure in the first quantity is multiplied by this constant, giving the corresponding measure in the second quantity. The steps to determine if two quantities in a table are proportional are as follows. Number one, for each given measure of quantity A and quantity B, find the value of B divided by A. So you can figure that out by division. Second, if the value of B divided by A is the same for each pair of numbers, then the quantities are proportional to each other. So this works both ways. If you're going from left to right, you are looking for a multiplier. The summary is saying that you can also go the other way and divide. Two, 4 divided by 2, 9 divided by 3, 16 divided by 4. So it's saying that either way will prove a proportional relationship. And the answer to the essential question is, if we know that one cup equals eight ounces, one cup can be substituted for eight ounces or vice versa. So go back and read the essential question and then the answer. That concludes lesson four.